First and foremost, drugs are introduced by a route of administration. For example, by mouth, subcutaneously, intramuscularly, intravenously, etc. Routes of administration will vary based on the patient, formulation, purpose. What is the purpose of drug therapy? To deliver the right drug in the right concentration at the right place and the right time to produce the desired effect. How do drugs work? When a drug enters the blood and circulates, where does it go? Sites of action, the location where an administered drug produces an effect. Receptor, the cellular material located at the site of action that interacts with the drug. Selective or action, the characteristic of a drug that makes its action specific to certain receptors and tissues. Receptor, located on the surface of cell membranes and inside cells. The number of receptors available to interact with the drug will also directly influence the effect. Receptors can be changed by drug use. Drugs at the site of action. Physical action. Topical applications. Chemical action. Changing the pH levels in the stomach. Metabolic action. Decrease activity of pathogens. Synergistic action. Join other cellular material. Biochemical action. Modifying biological processes of the body's cell or other systems. These reactions will increase or block cellular function. What is an agonist versus antagonist? Agonist, drugs that activate receptors to accelerate or slow normal cellular function. Antagonist, drugs that bind with receptors but do not activate them. They block receptor action by preventing other drugs or substances from activating them. Concentration and effect. To produce an effect, the concentrations must achieve a minimum effective concentration, or MEC. The concentration at which the drug at the site of action produces a response. The time MEC is reached and the response occurs is the onset of action. The time period when the drug produces the desired effect is the duration of action. Concentration and effect. The minimum toxic concentration, MTC, is the upper limit of therapeutic window. Drug concentrations above the MTC increases the risk of undesired effects. Therapeutic window is the blood concentration range between MEC and MTC. ADME, disposition and elimination. Disposition, all of the ADME process. Once any substance enters the body, it goes through a management process to determine what can be used for different functions and what can be excreted. Elimination, the process of metabolism and excretion. How the body breaks down and uses what's entered the body. The body eliminates anything it doesn't need. Processes and diffusion, how it works. Blood delivers the drug to tissues in the body. Drugs must penetrate the tissue's membrane to interact with the receptors. Problems occur when drugs unable to penetrate membrane. Drug penetrates, but there's not enough blood flow to the tissue. Ionization versus unionization. When acids disassociate, they become ionized. Charges on biological membranes bind or repel ionized drug. Associate with water molecules, creating larger particles with reduced penetrating capability. When bases dissociate, they become unionized. Penetrate biological membranes are more easily than ionized. More lipid soluble. Biological membranes, complex structures composed of lipids or fats and proteins. Three types of membranes. Skin, several layers of cells. Intestinal lining, single layer. Single cell, less than one layer. Most drugs penetrate biological membranes by passive diffusion. The movement of drugs from an area of higher concentration to lower concentration. Other drugs penetrate by active transport. Cellular energy used to move drugs from low concentration to higher concentration. Membranes are lipoidal, fat-like, aka hydrophobic. Drugs that are more lipid soluble will penetrate membranes better than drugs that are not. Some drugs are hydrophilic, capable of associating with or absorbing water. These drugs move through water-filled passages called aqueous pores, which allow water and any drug contained in it to move through the membrane. The transfer of drug into the blood from an administered drug product, any route of administration, oral, IV, IM, subcutaneous or sub-Q, 
inhalation, the time a drug will stay in the stomach before it's emptied into the small intestine. Gastric emptying time is one of the primary factors affecting oral absorption. Why is this important? Stomach acid degrades drugs, which will affect a drug's action. If a drug is in the stomach too long, it can not only be degraded, but destroyed. What can affect gastric emptying? Food, other drugs, body position, emotional condition. It is mostly slowed, but sometimes it can be increased. Entering the intestine, slower than normal movement can lead to increased drug absorption, longer contact with intestinal membrane. Faster than normal can lead to little or no absorption. Bile salts improve the absorption of many hydrophobic drugs. Enzymes, like pancreatic secretions, destroy certain drugs. Distribution, defined as the movement of a drug within the body once the drug has reached the blood. The blood will carry the drug throughout the body and to the sites of action. Drugs are rapidly distributed to organs with high blood flow, heart, liver, kidneys. Permeability of tissue membrane. Drugs that have small molecules with low molecular weight and or hydrophobic usually diffuse through membranes with ease. Some membranes require specialized transportation of drugs to penetrate. Other membranes are highly selective, which equal very difficult to cross. Blood-brain barrier, BBB. Protein binding. The attachment of a drug molecule to a plasma or tissue protein, making the drug inactive but keeping it within the body. The binding of drug proteins in blood plasma. Selective action. Once the drugs reach the bloodstream, they will have action that is selective to certain tissues and organs. Drugs can be targeted for specific therapeutic effects, but most receptors can be found in multiple tissues throughout the body. Allows drugs to have multiple effects. Metabolism. The process of transforming drugs. The primary site of drug metabolism in the body is the liver. Enzyme, protein that catalyzes chemical reactions. First pass metabolism. Liver enzymes interact with drugs and form metabolites. Metabolite, the transformed drug is called a metabolite. At this stage, the drug will produce effects in the patient. Induction versus inhibition. Enzyme induction, the increase in liver enzyme activity that results in greater metabolism of drugs. Due to chronic administration of drugs, the liver will do this. Enzyme inhibition. The decrease in liver enzyme activity that results in greater metabolism of drugs. Smaller doses of the drug will be needed to prevent toxicity from drug accumulation. First pass metabolism. The substantial degradation of an orally administered drug caused by enzyme metabolism in the liver before the drug reaches the systemic circulation. Enterohepatic cycling. The liver may secrete drugs or metabolites into the bile that is stored in the gallbladder. The gallbladder empties the bile into the intestines. Drugs or metabolites in the bile may be reabsorbed or eliminated in excretion. If the drugs or metabolites are reabsorbed back into the blood circulation, this is called enterohepatic cycling. Excretion, drugs and metabolites are excreted in urine, feces, lungs, the kidneys. Most drugs and metabolites are excreted in the urine by the kidneys. The kidneys filter the blood and remove waste materials from it. Nephron, the functional unit of the kidney. Glomerular filtration, the blood filtering process of the nephron. Bioavailability, the amount of an administered dose that reaches the general circulation and the rate at which this occurs. Absolute bioavailability, the bioavailability of a drug compared to the same drug in a rapidly administered IV solution. Relative bioavailability, the bioavailability of a drug product compared to the same drug in any other dosage form than a rapidly administered IV solution. Bioequivalence, the comparison of bioavailability between two dosage forms. Pharmaceutical alternative, drug products that contain the same active ingredient but not the same salt, amount, or dosage form. Pharmaceutical equivalent, drug products that contain identical amounts of the same dosage form. Therapeutic equivalent, equivalents that produce the same effects in patients. Concepts to remember. Concentration and effect, ADME. Absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, bioavailability, bioequivalence.